I'm Tim Evans. I do a number of things. I am Chief Executive of Work Unlimited, which is a uh, middle-sized national charity working with, with um, marginalised young people. I am Chair of St Margaret's Community Trust, which is a community trust turning an old church into a heritage community and enterprise centre. I'm a councillor for Birmingham City Council. I became a Christian when I was at university, so that was a bit of a starting point. I started volunteering with something called Student Community Action, which is the volunteer programme for uh, students. That really got me into the mode of seeing how faith and poverty and social justice can work together. Uh, people inspire me. I have lots of good friends, colleagues, people I've known along the way who have been inspirational people, who've done inspirational things. Kind of unsung heroes, really, the people you never hear about but they just do amazing things either in their own individual lives or by the work that they do with, you know, with other people. What are my challenges? Some of them are personal. I still have some of the insecurities I had when I was little. Some of them live on in our lives, I think, and sometimes they rear their head. I think especially when you're in um, any form of leadership position that sometimes those things can get triggered quite easily. I think most leaders are actually quite insecure people and you can respond either by recognising that you've got some level of insecurity or you become quite arrogant and bullheaded about things to kind of cover that. People can sometimes be challenging. Um, people can sometimes not see things the way you see things. Sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes that's deeply frustrating. And systems and structures sometimes that drive you mad, you know, having to do things in a certain kind of way, which often is for good purpose. But if it gets in the way of making the world a better place, then I find that also deeply um, frustrating. Plus, lack of time sometimes. I'm a bit of a try and do everything. A bit of lack of capacity sometimes. Sometimes I spread myself too thin. What am I learning as a leader? Um, constantly, I think, how to listen to people better. I think listening is an important part of being a leader. Being listening, but not not in inverted commas weak. I think it is a, that's a hard balance sometimes to strike. If you just spent all your time listening, you would never decide anything. I think one of the big things I've learned actually is that you need opposites. So if you're a certain kind of person, a certain kind of leader, a certain kind of personality type, you need opposites to you. But that can sometimes create. I wouldn't call it tension, but push pull in what you do and you have to recognise the skills and abilities of someone who thinks quite differently to you but actually it's quite essential to making something work. I think you have to try and have some degree of humility as a leader that people, we hold leaders up in I think in our culture to be uh, all wise, all knowing, so learning to live with other people's disappointment in you and sometimes your disappointment in yourself is part of it but also recognising that you've chosen to put yourself in that position and I think the last thing I would say I'm learning is to that part of your job is to enable people to go beyond you and so you shouldn't be insecure and defensive about people that you're leading gaining skills gaining knowledge moving forward i'm quite a big picture person so people ask me all the time do you think the world can be changed and i'm always like yes <laughs> absolutely the world can be changed we just have to do our bit to try and change it so i wake up most mornings and think how can i change the world